Hi everybody, it's time for the room tour. Okay, I'm at the Tokyo Disneyland Hotel and I'm in room 5206. So let's walk in. Look at how beautiful this is. Look at the wallpaper. It's got a gorgeous texture on it. So this is Victorian theme, very much like the Grand Floridian. So when you walk in here, you have a beautiful vanity with a gorgeous brocade stool. Beautiful wood counter with glass countertop. And you can see the Mickey in there. You've got lights right here. So light switch, two lights, and a big, beautiful gilded mirror. Really nice place to do your makeup or your skincare. Just sit down here and use this beautiful mirror. Tissue box there, trash down there, it's full of my trash. And let's go this way, okay. So here is your bath area. So you have a sliding pocket door here. And the first section you walk into is the sink. So another big, beautiful mirror, lights again. The, the light switch for this section is outside. It's right here. So beautiful marble countertop, double nozzles, which I really like a lot, face and hand soap. And then you've got your amenities. They, they gave me four, but I took mine already. Toothbrush kits, amenity kit, so the toothbrushes you can keep because they're individually wrapped in paper. The amenity kit you cannot take. So inside, Q-tips, cotton swabs, and a hair tie. Those you can take because they're individually wrapped. But the metal tin is not up for grabs. Little plastic cup, which you can take because, again, it's individually wrapped. Um, these are unfortunately plastic cups. I would have wish that they were glass. I don't like drinking out of plastic at all. Um, but plenty of counter space. The towels were beautifully soft and plush, really nice with the logo on them. And then here's where your hair dryer and the complimentary hairbrush is. So when I checked in, this drawer was a jar because they want you to see what's in here. So that's great. And then that plugs for the hair dryer. I didn't need to use an electrical converter. My regular USA plugs worked just great. Oh, look, they were more toothbrushes. They gave me six toothbrushes. Um, tissues, trash, this little caddy that pulls out so you can store your things if you want and then push it back under the sink, which is amazing. And then this little stool for shorter people slash children to wash their hands with. But travel tip for me to you, put that in the toilet room and it's a squatty potty. You're welcome. Okay, speaking of toilet room, here you go. So here's your Japanese toilet. Please do not be overwhelmed or concerned. These are all the controls. Um, for the bidet function, the heating function, all that. Um, I recommend having um, Google Translate or some type of Translate app where you can um, point your phone at it and it'll translate the words. However, you can completely ignore this because the flush is right there. So if you just want to use it like a regular toilet, you absolutely can. The flusher is there, no problem. They give you a sanitary bag for all your menstrual needs. They do not want you to flush anything down the toilet that is not toilet paper. Another tip for me to you is if you are someone who does get your period, I highly, highly suggest switching to a menstrual cup. It has changed my life, especially when traveling. It makes it so much easier. I am not sponsored. I wish I was. I love menstrual cups. Um, oh, I should have showed you. The light for this room is right here. Okay, let's go into the shower room. 
So here is a whole separate shower room. And this shower is different than the shower I had at the Ambassador Hotel. So it still has the, um, the holder for the, the shower head here, as well as up there, but it also has a rainfall shower head. So that was totally new, so that was really cool. And what I love is, here's the shower instructions. They very clearly tell you how to use the shower. But I love that on and off is a separate function from hot and cold. Because if you're like me, I do a cold rinse at the end of my shower, but a lot of showers when you make it cold, it also turns off the water. So it's less and less water the colder you get. This, you can have a cold rinse, but still have the same water pressure. And let me tell you about the water pressure in this shower. It is magnificent. Especially if you're like me, coming from California, I recommend spending as much time in the shower as possible. You will live off the memory of this shower pressure for a very long time. And then there's a little frosted window into the bedroom and your bathtub. I did not use the bathtub, but look at that gorgeous marble work. And there's your towel rack and towel bar. And there's your bath mat. Okay, so let's come back into the hallway. Here's your closet. So two extra pillows. There was no um, blanket like there was at the Ambassador Hotel. So interesting to note that there's a little, some inconsistencies between the hotels. Plenty of hangers, luggage rack, individually wrapped. Um, slippers, so those are for you. Uh, whenever I see something like this, I always think, wrapped in plastic. It's my best Pete impression. I know it was terrible, but it's what happens in my head. Also note, there's no robes. There wasn't robes in the Ambassador Hotel either. I don't know if you have to ask for them or they just don't have them, but I brought my own, so it was fine. I didn't need theirs, but, but please note. To the left of the closet is your tea station. So something I love about Asian hotels is they have kettles instead of coffee makers. I love a kettle. It's very, very versatile. So you just pop the top off, fill it with water, plug it in, press on, and it'll boil your water. You can make tea. They provide you with tea, green tea here. Or if you're like me, you can bring your own tea. I brought mint tea with me. I always bring mint tea when I travel. The other thing you can do is they make individual coffee. They make them like um, tea bags, but they're coffee bags. They also make individual travel pour over coffee. Kettles are very versatile. The other thing is you can use them for things other than drinking. Um, if you're like me and you get a stain on your outfit, you can use it to pour a little soap on there and then pour a little hot water on there and, you know, try and wash it off. You can use it to um, heat up a washcloth and you can give yourself a nice little, you know, steam face facial. So lots of things you can do with a kettle that you cannot do with a coffee maker. So big fan. Here's your drink fridge. There were four free waters in here, but I drank them all. And housekeeping did not come because when I checked in, they asked if I needed it. And I said, no, I did not need it because I don't. So I could have always asked for more water if I wanted it. Okay. Opposite the closet is your full length mirror. I'm going to turn this this way. Hello. This is my outfit for today. So this beautiful full length mirror, which is gorgeous. I mean, look at that. But also there wasn't a full length mirror at the Ambassador Hotel. So interesting. Okay, go back sideways. Okay, so let's go into the bedroom. So you've got a split trash can here for recyclables and trash. You've got a beautiful wardrobe with lots of drawers and a safe. And then wait for it. Pajamas! How cute is that? So the pajamas are not for you to take, but they are for you to wear. So just like the sheets, they'll wash them when you're done with them. 
Here's your TV. I didn't, oh, I did turn it on, but it's not a Disney TV like you're used to in the domestic park hotels where you turn it on. It's, you know, um, park information and it's just a very different interface. So just be aware there is that information, but it's not the interface that I was used to. Okay, look at the top of that wardrobe. Do you see her and her smiling face? I love her. Okay, to the left of the wardrobe is this beautiful Alco bed. I mean, look at the different wallpaper and the pillows and the brocade. It's gorgeous. So this does pull out into a bed and there's instructions over here. So here's a floor lamp and these gorgeous curtains. So you've got a sheer lace curtain. Look at that. And then look at this beautiful fringed curtain with, look at these tie backs. I mean, are you kidding? Look at that tassel. Gorgeous. The carpet's also really pretty with the birds. Here's a little table and chair set. So when I was sitting here this morning drinking tea, I'm kind of head level with the balcony ledge, so it's not really a view when you're sitting, but when you're standing, it's beautiful. So I'm on the back side of the hotel. So I am facing the mall, not um, Disneyland Park. That's on the other side, that's behind me. But it's still a gorgeous, I mean, even just looking at that side of the hotel is gorgeous. Okay, let's go to the beds. So I have a two twin bed. So they, I think they may call these foals, but, and they might be foals, but mm, it's, they're, they're not twins, but I don't know if they're foals. But anyways, they're gorgeous. Look at the texture of that. And I don't know if you can see if I'm going to be able to capture it, but there's an actual pattern on these sheets. And these sheets are incredible. The quality of these linens are gorgeous. And then look at the pillows have a different pattern. They're a stripe. So nice. So on the bed, you get a duvet and a duvet cover. You do not get a top sheet, which is great. That's the way I like it. You get a fitted sheet. And then you get a duvet and a duvet cover and they will wash the duvet cover and the sheet. Beautiful bolster and throw pillow. I'm not crazy about the art over the headboard. It feels very juvenile compared to the rest of the room. That's kind of like a, you know, three points from Gryffindor kind of thing. As well as these silhouettes. I would have loved to see framed embroidery you know they do those embroidery hoops that would have been gorgeous you know because because <laughs> they're taking my suggestions but the headboards are gorgeous i just feel like that and that are out of place considering how beautiful the rest of the room is so you've got your little bedside table with a drawer with complimentary postcards oh let's see what we got those are beautiful. Those are going home with me. Thank you very much. Pad for taking notes by the phone because they still do that. Oh, shoot. I need to throw this trash away. Let's go do that. Okay. Back. TV remote, phone, clock. You've got two plugs and a USB. Here you go. I don't need them changed daily, and I was only here for three nights. If I was here longer, I would have asked them to change my sheets, but three nights is about the same as what I do at home. And I didn't have a dog sleeping in my bed, so my sheets were definitely cleaner than they were at home. Um, hot travel tip for me to you. If you're someone like me and you like some weight on top of you when you sleep at night, I take the duvet from this bed and put it on this bed and sleep under two duvets. And it's magic. There's the little window that was in the shower. Here's your thermostat. I want to show you guys. So you can change it 
it's Celsius when you get in, but you change it to Fahrenheit. Here's the temperature. Here's the on and off. Here's the fan. Very easy. It's not one of those fancy ones that are hard to work, but I will tell you, I've had it set at 68 this entire trip, and never, ever, ever has it been 68 in this room. It's been 75, 76 in here. I find that in Asia, in what are supposed to be cold months, when they have the heater on everywhere else, like in the lobbies and whatnot, um, the air conditioning doesn't really work very well or at all. So that's kind of a bummer for me, for somebody that gets very, very warm easily. And I prefer, and it's easier for me to sleep when the room is cold and I have blankets on top of me. I do not sleep well if the room is warm. So that's just me, something for you to know. I had it set at 68. It never, ever got even close. Um which is fine. I'm fine with 75. I'm fine with 76, but I had to set it at 68 to get to where I'm at. All right. That's our room tour. Thank you so much. Um, you may have noticed that I'm doing this room tour after I've stayed in the room. The reason is, is I like to give you information about my stay as I do my room tour. Also selfishly, if I do my room tour at the end of the stay, it helps me pack and make sure I don't leave anything. So thanks for helping me with that. Okay, bye. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like to see the video from my first day at Tokyo Disneyland, please click on the link in the description. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please click on the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel for more fun content. Thanks so much and see you real soon. Bye.